internationalization and localization are part of the process of taking an application that's only in one language and ending up with a lang an application that's in multiple languages, typically based on detecting the installation that the user has. So part of the process is to go through your forms and set up alternate resource files so that the particular strings that are on the English version of the form are replaced with French or Spanish or Russian or whatever on the other versions of the form. But one of the things that trips up this process is when a developer has hard-coded a string. So error message equals quote, that name is taken, please try again, quote. This needs to end up in a resource and finding those strings and turning them into resources can be a very time-consuming thing to do. The resource refactoring tool, which you can get from CodePlex, is a very simple way to help you turn hard-coded strings into resources. Here is a form. It has no untranslated uh, controls on it, but what I want you to notice is that the form is localizable. And imagine that, in fact, there are all kinds of controls on here, and the designers have carefully put uh, resource files in place for all of the controls on the form, and yet the testers report that under certain circumstances they still see English when they're set to another language. The testers believe there's some hard-coded quoted strings somewhere in the application, and it's your job to find them. If we open up the code behind, it turns out not to be that hard to find them in this particular sample code. It's going to be more difficult in your real code, but now you have to figure out what to do about them. So you have strings like hello and temp string is that need to be converted into resources that can be translated by your translator. Well, because I have the resource refactoring tool uh, installed into this into this Visual Studio, I can just right-click the string, and on the refactor menu, choose Extract to Resource. The dialog that comes up, make sure that I've got selected the string that I wanted to select. I'm going to leave it at just this instance for now, and you can see that um, it's offering to create a new resource entry for this. There might be an existing one I'd rather use. And it's even coming up with a name based on what the actual string was in English. I'm going to accept that, preview the changes, and click OK. It's telling me uh, what part of the application, in this case which file it's going to make a change in, and what it intends to do, taking away the hard-coded string and replacing it with a call into my resources. This is perfect, this is exactly what I want it to do, so I say OK. And that's just what it does. If you take a string that appears in multiple places in your application, like hello, and again refactor, extract to resource, and this time I say do it everywhere in this whole project, and you could call it hello, you might prefer to call it greeting, what have you, it's also showing me that there's already one resource in my project, but that it's not at all similar to hello. It could be that you have a series of strings that are subtly different depending on which programmer typed them, but which in fact could all be replaced with the same string. Not the case for the temp string is and hello. I'm going to skip the preview this time and just save my change. So you see that here the hard-coded hello has been replaced and so has it here. And this is a lot less fuss and bother than the usual techniques that people would have to go through, especially the searching uh, for other instances of the same string throughout the application. It's a small part of the whole internationalization problem. Of course, I have to give the resource file to my translators now. But the part that the programmer usually has to do, this is going to make it a lot simpler.